Hi everybody! It's me and I'm doing another demo of a game. Um, apparently the things I have set aside are going to fall. That is okay. Uh, nothing important. So, we're doing Unstable Unicorns. This is an awesome, 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 awesome game. It is, um, yeah, it's just so cool. It's a build a unicorn army, betray your friends, unicorns are your friends now. UnstableUnicorns.com is where you can pick up your own copy of Unstable Unicorns. I have been trying to convince um, Tim of Gamer Sanctum to carry this game. We'll see if I can get him to do it. Um, Gamer Sanctum is awesome though. They have a whole bunch of kick butt board games uh, worth trying. Uh, we buy board games there all the time. Like we got Sparkle Kitty and Kittens in a Blender. And I've gotten Exploding Kittens from him before. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Ravine. Ravine is a really cool game. Super hard, but it's very, very cool. Um, so right, Unstable Unicorns. Comes with a little rule pamphlet. See, rule pamphlet. Yep, see. Tells you about setup, how to play, um, what, what card types there are, words you need to know, how to win. That's pretty important. And uh, what to do on your turn. So, oh, and facts. FAQS. Uh, that is frequently asked questions for those who don't know. Um, yeah, so it just has a bunch of cool information, good information on this little pamphlet in here, the instructional pamphlet. Um, it also comes with a bunch of what to do on your turns, words you need to know, types of cards. Uh, I have expansions for this game, so um, I don't completely remember which expansions I have. Actually, I think I have all the expansions. I even have the not safe for work version. We're not playing with that one because it's not safe for work. Um, it is pretty funny. Uh, Cards Against Humanity level of a funny. Uh, yeah. So highly recommend giving this game a whirl. Um, yeah. So let's see here. So these um, don't come out of these this box very easily because it's so stacked full. That goes, stays in there. So let's see here. So these are all baby unicorns. You start with one of these unicorns in your stable uh, right off the bat. Everybody gets dealt a baby unicorn. Uh, let's see here. We're going to try to take out some of these cards. I need to get these cards sleeved. Um, I don't think they're going to fit in the box sleeves, unfortunately, because expansions. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if they don't have a really cool uh, expansion friendly sleeve box. They might. Um, as you can see this one has like pretty foil on it. That was a Backstarter exclusive I think. Um, pretty foil. It's, it's a cool box and it got a magnetic closure. This insert um, in here does come out. Ooh, squeak, squeak, squeak. Let's see, it comes out. Um, unstable unicorns. Um, yeah, so it's a it's a really cool game. Like you can see here that this one. This is the other reason I need to get sleeves. This was a special card I got for backing. Uh, Give, donating some money for disaster relief. So it's a disaster relief unicorn. And he is a magical unicorn. And it says when this card enters your stable, each player must sacrifice all downgrade cards. Search that deck for an upgrade card and bring it directly into your stable. Shuffle the deck. I'll explain what all that means later. Um, but yeah, you'll see the backs are slightly different. This one, let's see if I can see, this one is a little bit more colorful. Um, bright. That's the word I'm looking for. It's more bright. So, uh, yeah, sleeves would be great for this game because then we could actually play with them without ruining the fun for everybody else. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to go over these terms with you real quick. What you do on your turn. Turns go clockwise around the table and each turn is made up of four phases. Beginning of your turn, if any of your cards has an effect that happens at the beginning of your turn, you may use that effect now. If you forget to do it before you draw, you miss out on using that effect. Uh, draw phase, draw one card from the draw pile. Action, play, action phase. 
play one card from your hand or draw one more card from the draw pile. Nice. Uh, end of your turn, discount, discard down to the hand limit if you're holding more than seven cards. Uh, how to win? The first player with the required number of unicorns in their stable wins. Everyone must bow down to them. That's fair. Uh, two players, seven unicorns to win. Three to five players, seven unicorns to win. Six to eight players, six unicorns to win. For, for full two-player rules and banned cards list, visit unstableunicorns.com. Because some of these cards are not fair in, with two players. Like Pandemonium, that card is so not fair. I, I mean, it's it's barely fair in a, in a large player game. We had a, like a five-person game going. Uh, about oh gosh I don't know it's been a while because of uh, all the weird stuff that's been going on in the world lately but yeah I'd say about a year maybe a year and a half ago we had like a five person game going lasted for about six hours and uh, pandemonium was in play so that person's unicorns were all turned into pandas so none of their cards got affected by any unicorn cards it was really bizarre and there are ways to get rid of that card but um, it's kind of a pain in the patoot too so, um, yeah, that person just kind of sat there and accumulated a lot of pandas. All right, so what do you do if you run out of cards? That's these. This is the draw card pile. If you're a stickler, the game ends when you run out of cards. No one, if no one completed their unicorn army, no one gets to be the righteous ruler of all things magical. If you're a rule breaker, however, you can reshuffle the discard pile back into the deck when you're out of cards. The rules say not to, but you just don't care. You're a rebel. Good for you. If you are a baby unicorn, the game ends when you flip the table. Do not be a baby unicorn. You are better than that. Words you need to know. Stable, the area where you play unicorns, upgrades, and downgrades. In play, current cards currently in play and a player's stable. Bring directly into play. Add the card to your stable immediately. This does not count as your action this turn. Sacrifice. Send a pot, pot Send a card from your stable to the discard pile. Destroy. Send a card from another player's stable to the discard pile. Discard. Send a card from your hand to the discard pile. Who goes first? Whoever is wearing the most colors is obviously the unicorniest, so they go first. That is usually me. Not afraid to admit it. Even today, like yesterday, I was wearing a Pokemon t-shirt, and I actually tried to do this demo yesterday, but I forgot to hit record. Bad idea. Went through all the motions of doing an awesome demo, and uh, I forgot to hit record. But anyway, my t-shirt, it says, uh, oh gosh, what does it say? Let's see here. Once upon a time, there was a girl, and she liked D&D and cats. Uh, yeah, that's, and it has a kitty on it, and it's got cool dice. I, I know you can't see it, but it's got cool dice. It's a really rad t-shirt. Um, Highly recommend picking up one of these t-shirts. I don't even remember where I bought it. Uh, I'm sure you could Google it because Google is your friend. All right. So, right. So who goes first? Whoever is wearing the most colors. Uh, if there's a tie, uh, I would, I don't know what you do if there was a tie. Usually there's not. Here's usually somebody who's wearing the most colors. So uh, card types. Instants. Play an instant card at any time to stop someone from playing a card. Send the instant card to the, to the discard pile directly after use. Upgrade card. Play an upgrade card during your turn to give someone's stable a positive effect. Your own stable is always a good choice. Downgrade. Play a downgrade card during your turn to give someone's stable a negative effect. Pick an opponent's stable. Duh. Magic. Play a magic card during your turn to create magic, ma magical mayhem. Send the magic card to the discard pile after use. Magical Unicorn. Play a magical unicorn by placing it in your stable during your turn. Each one comes with a special power. Basic Unicorn. Play a basic unicorn by placing it in your stable during your turn. They don't all have powers, but they are still special. And some cards in, these, in this pile of cards, uh, the deck... You can only play if you have a basic unicorn in play. So that's pretty cool. And a baby unicorn, each player starts with a baby unicorn in their stable. You can only summon more by using special cards. Also in this deck. Um, 
all right so that that sums that up pretty well um, we have here set up I'm gonna try to show you guys set up here so here your stables in front of you the draw pile that's the stack goes somewhere around in the middle of the table. The discard pile is clearly marked cards go face up in it. And nursery is where the baby unicorns reside. They are separate from any of these other cards. They also have white backs so you can't get them mixed up. If something makes you discard or destroy your baby unicorn, you put it right back into the baby unicorn pile. Uh, let's see here. And then this is what your stable, this is table set up. And then this right here is your stable setup. Your unicorns are front and center. So your uh, friends and enemies, or frenemies, will know exactly how many unicorns you have and what they do. Your uh, upgrades and downgrades are behind them, so you can keep an eye on those. Uh, a lot of times your opponents will know what downgrades you have um, because they've given them to you. It's great. Uh, makes the game very interesting, pretty funny. Uh, let's see here. I think that's it. That, that's the that's the basic summary of in, Unstable Unicorns. So, for ease of use, I'm going to keep these instructions open. I'm going to set them right here, just to make sure I'm not messing anything up. And then um, I do that sometimes, every once in a while. We'll just, we'll just say that. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to give myself a baby unicorn. These baby unicorns are so cute, um, except for maybe the zombie unicorn, not a big fan of zombies. I know some of you folks probably really dig zombies, so there's a zombie baby unicorn. Um, let's see, here's a glitter baby unicorn. Uh, blue, blue baby unicorn with a purple bib. Orange, reddish orange. Yellow, rainbow mane. Green. Ooh, daisies, that's nice. Can you see that okay? Daisy baby unicorn. Yeah, they're really cool. Oh, and a baby narwhal. Yep, he's a baby unicorn. It's it's hilarious. See, it says unicorn baby right there. He counts. All right, so we have baby unicorns. They can stay right here. Um, all right, I need to. And let's see here. So this is the nursery. So we have the draw pile. We'll make our discard pile be right here. Um, yeah. Oh, I think I had a little bit of lag there. All right. Sorry, folks. All right. So discard pile is going to be right here. Um, my baby unicorn is going to be front and center where you can see it. And then I'm also going to deal out to a fake opponent a baby narwhal. We're going to put their unicorn where you can see it too. So I'm not dealing with a whole lot of table space. I, I apologize. I don't have a whole lot of room to show you how to play these games, but it'll work. It always does. So you deal out, oh my goodness, I think it's five cards. Five cards. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's see here. How to play? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it's five cards. I play this game so much, I'm like almost positive it's five cards. Anyway, oh right, we're gonna we're gonna keep this handy. So it is on this sheet of paper somewhere, your hand size. And it comes in the unstable unicorns box. Hand size five cards. If I'm wrong, forgive me. So for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna let you see my hand. And I have drawn. Oh, rock on! I get to show you a nay. So nays are instant cards. And play this card when when any player tries to play a card. Stop that player's card from coming into play and send it to the discard pile instead. That works on unicorns. And you can nay other people's nays, too. It's really rad. So this is my hand. I, got, I, I have um, three unicorns. And they're all magical unicorns. I have an extremely destructive unicorn, eternal youth unicorn, and a black knight unicorn. And because they're magical, they all have powers. And then here, uh, I have a unicorn nap. 
it is magic. And it says here, choose any player. That player must skip their next turn. So that's my hand. I probably should have gone back and forth, but this is just a demo, so you'll, you'll get the gist. Alright, let's see here. Oh, wow, they're getting all sorts of cool stuff. I'm in trouble. Now, I won't play this game all the way to the end, because like I mentioned before, the games can be rather long. Typically, they only last like 30 minutes to an hour. Um... So they're not, they're not really long. More people, more chaotic it gets. Um, and the longer the game can take. Uh, like I said, you're, if you want a shorter game, just reduce the number of unicorns it takes to win. See how to win. We have six unicorns to win. Two players, seven unicorns to win. Three to five, seven unicorns to win. Shorter games, less unicorns. Um, Alright, so... We have an upgrade, this is called a rainbow main, and they have, you must have a basic unicorn in your stable in order to play this card. If this card is in your stable at the beginning of your turn, you may bring a basic unicorn from your hand directly to your stable. That is awesome. Uh, they don't have any basic unicorns, so they won't be able to play this yet. Uh, this is a downgrade, it's called tiny stable. And it says, as long as this card is in your stable, you can only have five unicorns in your stable. So this card prevents you from winning in, in a normal game. Um, yeah, so that's, that's irritating. Got to get rid of that card. All right, and then they have uh, three magical unicorns. They have an angel unicorn. Uh, my personal favorite. I'm, I'm a big fan of angels. And it says, if this card is in your stable at the beginning of your turn, you may sacrifice it. If you do, choose a unicorn from the discard pile and bring it directly into your stable. Very handy if there is a unicorn in the discard pile that got made or destroyed that has important powers for you to win the game. It's, it's a good card. Alright, and then we have Swift Flying Unicorn. It says, when this card enters your stable, you may choose an instant card from the discard pile and add it to your hand. If this card is sacrificed or destroyed, return it to your hand. Also cool. That means if uh, when this comes into play in your stable, you can choose any instant card in the discard pile. So if, say I need something and they put this unicorn down and this nay is in the discard pile, they can grab my nay and then use it on me. Oh boy. All right, so Swift Flying Unicorn, very cool. And then there's the Adorable Flying Unicorn. When this card enters your stable, each player must sacrifice a card. If this card is sacrificed or destroyed, return it to your hand. So this one, if it is sacrificed or destroyed, you can return it to your hand. That's pretty cool. Um, and then when it comes into play, uh, each player must sacrifice a card. So as you will see here, sacrifice means send a card from your stable to the discard pile. But this says each other player. Or no, each player. So that includes you. Um, yeah. But if you sack him, he just returns to your hand. So, they got a pretty good starting hand. We're going to set it right here. And then at the beginning, of, we're going to pretend I go first, because I am better than the imaginary player that doesn't wear any colors. Um, so, so here, what you do on your turn. Beginning of your turn, activate any effects. There are no effects in play. Draw a phase. Draw them on card. Alright, so I also got a rainbow main. And then, let's see here. Action phase. Play one card or draw one additional card. Uh, I'm probably going to play a unicorn. Because unicorns are fabulous. Oh, let's see here. Oh, rock on. Alright, so we're going to play Black Knight Unicorn. It says, if, if one of your unicorns would be destroyed, you may sacrifice this card instead. So he's handy. Alright, so we'll play Black Knight Unicorn. And I believe... Oh, let's see here. End of your turn. Discard down to the hand limit if you're holding more than seven cards. There's only five cards here. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of my turn. So let's see what imaginary player is going to do. Oh, I should probably bring these cards a little closer so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Alright, so they are going to draw a card. They drew Nanny Cam. Pretty funny. 
As long as this card is in your stable, you must play with your hand visible to all players. Okay, so they'll know exactly what you're up to. So that's in their hand. Let's see, they have a couple downgrades now. We have Tiny Stable, which will prevent me from winning. We also have Nanny Cam, which will make me play with my hand face up. But for all intents and purposes, we'll say they're going to play Tiny Stable on me. That will go in my stable. Um, yeah, so that's there. That's their one card they can play per turn. They drew. They played a card. They can't draw another card because they played a card. And they don't have over seven cards, so it's my turn. End of their turn. Now it's my turn. All right, so I'm going to draw a card. I do Sharing is Caring. That is a magic card. And it says, choose a unicorn from each player's stable. Shuffle them together, then deal them out face down. These unico Those unicorns come directly into play in the new player's stables. So you can switch unicorns around. It's great. And if you have a unicorn that has an enter play effect, it goes off when they hit the new player's stables. So adds a touch of randomness. Uh, let's see here. I have tiny stables, so I can't have... I can only have five unicorns in my stable. We're going to play... I don't want to do that. Yeah, we're going to play Eternal Youth Unicorn. So what that does is if this card is in your stable at the beginning of my turn, replace the unicorn in any player's stable with a baby unicorn. That replaced unicorn goes to the discard player. Pile. So that means whenever they play one of these magic unicorns, I can replace them with a baby unicorn. It is great. Um, which will remove their special powers. Because uh, baby unicorns are cute, but they're not very powerful because they're just babies. Alright, so that brings us to imaginary player's turn. Yeah, because I played Eternal Youth Unicorn. And they're going to get... Oh, that is... Oh, pretend you didn't see that. Just, just pretend you didn't see that. Alright, that was in the Not Safe for Work version. Um, I don't, we must have missed it when we, yeah. Alright, not safe for work vision card. So, we're going to play Unicorn, they just drew Unicorn of War. And this one, when this card enters your stable, you may choose any number of players and destroy a unicorn in each of their stables. Each of those players may then destroy one of your unicorns. So this is, this is a pretty cool card. So, um, when played, they can, they can, they may choose any number of players. They can choose no players if they don't want to. So if they, they um, let's say they play Unicorn of War and they go, all right, all right, I don't like your Eternal Youth Unicorn. Get rid of it. Send it to the discard pile. I'm like, okay, I'll send my Eternal Youth Unicorn to the discard pile. I'll be like, guess what? You can no longer have your baby narwhal. And this baby narwhal, since it's a baby unicorn, goes back into the nursery. I usually put them on the bottom. But because this card says destroy one, I get destroyed one of theirs. So any any player that this unicorn destroys a unicorn of can destroy this player's unicorns. So great way to even the table. Alright, well they played a card. They don't have a hand size over seven, so it's my turn. Let's see here. Unicorn with a dragon tattoo. This is a basic unicorn. So I don't know how well that's going to come into focus for you guys. But basic unicorns don't have any special powers. They're just really cute. And this one happens to have a dragon tattoo because why not? Um, Alright, so. So this is my turn. I now have six cards. What am I going to do with that? Alright, I'm probably going to play my basic unicorn. So now I have a basic unicorn, so then I can play my rainbow main next turn if I so desire. It's an upgrade. It's awesome. Uh, next turn, it says, you must have a basic unicorn in your stable in order to play this card. If this card is in your stable at the beginning of your turn, you may bring a basic unicorn from your hand directly into your stable. Uh, that is in addition to any other cards you play. So because it's an effect, it happens at the beginning of your turn. It's like... Boom! There's another unicorn and it's basic and it's awesome. So it just just takes b basic unicorns from your hand and just puts them in your stable. It's amazing. Anyway, so I played unicorn with a dragon tattoo. That's my basic unicorn. 
That brings us to invisible player's turn. Oh, they got an A. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's trouble for me. Or they're going to save their nay because they don't have anything to nay right now because it's their turn. But I think they are going to play Okay, let's see here. What are they going to play? They have a choice. They have Adorable Flying Unicorn, Swift Flying Unicorn, or Angel Unicorn. I think they're going to play Angel Unicorn, because that's a pretty cool card. And that will bring them up to two unicorns in their stable. Pretty awesome. So they're getting closer. We're, we'll probably play up to four, or at least we'll try to. Let's see how much time do I have left. All right. All right, so um, I have about five minutes left before I hit my 30 minute cap. Um, yeah, so we'll try, we'll try. We'll see if we can get to four unicorns. Um, let's see here. So they played Angel Unicorn and that one says, if this card is in your stable at the beginning of your turn, you may sacrifice it. If you do, choose the unicorn from the discard pile and bring it directly into your stable. So this is Willing Sacrifice Unicorn, Angel Unicorn. So cute, I love that card. Alright, so now it's my turn. I'm going to draw a card. I drew Shake Up. So shuffle this card, your hand, and the discard pile back into the deck, then draw five cards. So it just resets it. Well, it resets my hand, not everybody else's. So that's pretty cool. Wow, look at all these magic cards I have. I have Unicorn, Nap, which makes this player skip their turn. Uh, sharing is Caring. Which makes them shuffle, uh, can make all these unicorns shuffle and then deal them back out randomly. I got a Nay, which is pretty awesome. I got a destructive, uh, extremely destructive unicorn. That makes me, it makes each player sac sacrifice a unicorn. So I don't really want to play that. If I can help it, I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to play Unicorn Nap. Put that in the discard pile. And I'm going to make this player skip the turn. And since they're the only imaginary player here, we're just going to pretend that, well, not, I mean, yes, pretend, but it's my turn again, because I skipped their turn. So we got here Shark with a Horn. Uh, it says here, see, Shark with a Horn. It says here, when this card enters the stable, you may destroy a unicorn if you do sacrifice this card. And that will take me up to four unicorns. <coughs> My apologies. I've been talking way too much and not enough to drink. So I win for unicorns. It's awesome. Yeah. So that's the essentials of playing unstable unicorns. It's a really rad game. I highly recommend giving it a, giving it a try. Unstable unstableunicorns.com is where you want to go to get it. At least until I can convince my uh, game shop friends to carry it in their stores. If you have any questions, hit me up in Discord or hit me up on YouTube. And yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, week, weekend, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.